ik ben Vinja en ik wil graag iets met uh, leuke kleuren en een stuk korter. En voor de rest uh, laat ik me graag verrassen. Yeah. <laughs> Vinja wants new colors in haar en uh, new fresh hairstyle. And she modeled before, so on, under her name you can find her on YouTube. And she will turn around to show you how her current hairstyle is. It's a long time ago because we had COVID in between. It's about four or five years, something like that. I think 2019 yeah. was the last time. Yeah, yeah four or five years. Okay, thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube. Got me a model again. Vinja was modeling for me before. She had also short hair. And she had even a fly in her neckline. <laughs> Stylists always wear protection. See that she did a lot of uh, coloring herself, or <laughs> I think so because yeah. <laughs> the condition of hair is not the best. But I will certainly make the condition better, give her a sparkling new hairstyle. Start as always with wetting the hair. And she has fine hair, so I have to take care of that also. Before I start, put in a leave-in conditioner, shake it. For those who don't have a leave-in conditioner, you can make it yourself. You take just a good conditioner and take mineral water, shake it well and apply it on your hair. Start to make a attack mode. And she has a bit skin, sensitive skin, so that's why I also have to work with protection systems into the coloring. And for those who have dandruff, and if you have uh, psoriasis, you can make a treatment for yourself. You take a soft shampoo or a conditioner and put two paracetamols in it. And then do it washing or treating it with that, leave it a little bit on the skin, you will certainly make feel the difference and see the difference in two, three times washing. You can also nurse the, the skin <laughs> over your body with it, but then you take a nice cream. So I part the hairs. I'll show you this in a second. Ask her to take off the glasses. Fix the red Thank you. Starting on the sides, show you first the parting line I did. Gonna wait, work till I get on the skull bone in a shape, a moon shape. So the sides will be short. Lifting up, do the scissor overcome so I get a more soft effect, but also can better control the thickness of the hairs. And you see, she has a structure in her hair, so I have to take care of that. Also, that I go in the opposite lines to create myself the same length all over. The sides are leave a little bit longer, that are softer them out with slicing. And for those who are interested in what I do, I also have videos now on TikTok and on Instagram under the same name, under my name. Creating a nice curve on the facial line. Set the hairs down. Go in from the longest point. Go up. 
pull the ear down, go over the same line, then soften the line with just the tip of my scissor. creating the softness into the line. Free the ear. Lifting up again. Als je nou veel mij die helemaal kaal schieren, echt helemaal kaal. Mm -hmm. Ja, ik vind het op zich jammer. Als het helemaal kaal is, vind ik echt jammer. Kort, snap ik nog, maar helemaal kaal vind ik. Mm. Goed opheersen, Ja, wel, maar het, is niet zo, het groeit niet mooi aan. Ja, dat, dat zie je met dat stekeltje zo. Dat is ook, groeit ook niet mooi aan. Ik krijg zo'n bolletje op je hoofd. <laughs> ja. Here the hairs grow really sharp down, so I lift them up with pulling on my comb. So then I can set them straight and get the same length. And we had uh, her color in a uh, copper green. It's an oxidated copper green color. It's also nice. For me, staan you all on TikTok or something. I don't know. Yeah, TikTok have I seen. No, not. Part halfway the skull bone. Make use of the natural shapes of the neckline. So when they have a shape, I mostly use it because it makes somebody unique and that's what I like. Go to the other side. Flip over my clams. Make a nice parting line. Start at the front, go in, lifting up. In base, the underlines are a symmetrical cut. But I will do something with the upper hair, so I can use also asymmetrical lines. So it's still like a rustic here. Yeah. Ik, ben, ik krijg misschien van het model wat gisteren model was, wat nu net op YouTube staat, mm -hmm. van haar oma zo'n tic-tac klok. Want uh -huh. de nieuwe klok is allemaal tic-tic, uh -huh. maar ik wil een tic-tac die oma had vroeger. <laughs> en die wil ik gewoon als achtergrondgeluid hebben. Heel zachtjes gewoon tic-tac, uh -huh. tic-tac. Ja, dat is wel leuk. Dus ik vind dat heel mooi, dat, ook omdat je dan de tijd ook in principe filmt. Ja. Uh, zonder dat je de tijd kunt zien, maar ja. je kunt de tijd wel horen. Ja. 
Dat vind ik eigenlijk wel een mooi idee. En het is niet storend, want ik vind het heel rustgevend, dat klokje van oma vroeger. Ja. Als ja, het... thuis zou ik het irritant vinden. Hè? Ja, ik Als zelf niet. Als je iets aan het doen nee, bent, Ik vind dat wel nee. meevallen, ja. Als on this side, I give it a little bit length. Afterwards I control it, but now I don't have a mirror, so I don't see the line as good as I should. But you have to see what I do, so that's why. <laughs> Come and get the roundings of the skull. on the center line of course. Then I connect them twisting. Leaning against the hairfall again. Als je nou van de zomer ergens op de eilanden bent of zo, mm -hmm. dan moet ik een keer contact maken. Mm -hmm. Kom ik knippen. Oh, ja. Yeah. Vind ik uh, leuk. Ja, yeah. oh heel leuk. Desnoods ga ik nog een keer een dagje mee op die boot. Ja. Yeah. Knip het hele zooi die er loopt. <laughs> Super leuk idee, ja. Yeah. Ja, en het zijn vaak uh, commerciële dingen ook, hè, die bootjes. Ja. Yeah. Ja, dus dan kunnen ze nog reclame maken. Ook een soort kei mooi. Het lijkt me ook heel leuk om op de, als ze aan het varen zijn te knippen. Ja, yeah. ja. Yeah. Dus dan kunnen we dan uh, wel een keer afspreken, is wel leuk. Ik yeah. kom wel. Cool, ja. Yeah. Mijn tante die heeft um, vroeger een relatie gehad met de eerste eigenaar van de bruinvis. Oh, ah, de bruinvis ken ik ook. Ja, het is de, de zeehondjes uh, toe, hè? Ja. Met Hans. Ja, het is wel een mooi gebied om te zijn. Ja, oh zeker. Ja, zeker in de zomer, oh, als je gewoon ergens beter gaat, voor anker gaat en ja. dan slaapt het oh. Heerlijk, ja, de sterren. Uh, ja. Oh, ja, van droog vallen. Oh. Maar met dit poort gaan we dan ook meestal uit de droog vallen, waar we dan de enige zijn. Ja, ja, ja. En, oh. Vind ik zo fijn. Ja, dat geloof ik al. En zo gaat het zo leuk, die groepen. Aan het begin zijn ze een beetje zo, oké, okay, wat doen we hier eigenlijk? En dan worden ze allemaal wedstrijdende kindjes en gaan op zoek naar zeesterren. En... Ja, ja, ja. <laughs> nou, wat ik ook mooi is, ik vind het mooi als het wat ontwaakt en al die vogels beginnen te fluiten. Ja. En ik ga dan meestal zingen voor de vogels. <laughs> In the meantime, we talk about uh, things she does because in summertime she goes on a ship on the Water Sea, that's uh, part of the Netherlands, in the north part. And she has uh, an old ship and travels with uh, groups. So we're talking about uh, maybe this summer I travel to her because I really like her there. But I go there as a hairdresser also, so maybe I can go on a ship with him. And do haircuts on sea or on the water sea, so then we get beautiful, beautiful pictures. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, on a historic sailing ship. Yeah, but also on the, the nicest part of the Netherlands. Yeah, <laughs> it's the most pure. That's the only part we don't influence a lot. Only there where the ships have to go that we can influence because we take out some ground to <laughs> to make it possible. But for the rest, it's a natural park, so we may not do anything there. Just enjoying Mother Nature. <laughs> exactly. That's why I also wear this t-shirt, because uh, your mother is the earth, and it's the most wonderful thing we have, earth. <laughs> for those who want to go to uh, Mars or something, goodbye!
<lacht> Jij? Nee. Blijf lekker hier op die aarde. Ja. Maar dat waren fijne, fijne plekken, ja. Och, wat geweldig, hè. Een prikje erin. Check the ultra fine small com. Zet het in. Soft in the contour line. Cleaning the contour line. Pull the ear down with the tip. Takes the rounding off the ear. Clean the contour line around the side bit. Push the hairs to the front. Coming to the neckline. Now I told you she has a creative neckline. So I'm going to do something with that because. I really like the shape of the neckline. Softening the lines. Make it ultra fine cut line. And get rid of the overfall of hairs because then it throws back nicely and into each other. Dat is altijd lastig als die camera in de weg zit. Ja, als iemand hebt die een film die kan over je heen kijken. Hè? Ja. Maar ik kan niet over mezelf heen kijken. Nee. Dus ik moet dan... Correcting. The left side. So far, this lines, so I can go to the upper hair. Cleaning in between. We need weg is. Is gezien. Wetting the upper hair. Take the first centimeter hair. Lay it on the line of cutting. Lekker dat de water wat eraf loopt. <laughs> water is een mooi spul, vind ik eigenlijk wel. Ja. Yeah. Dat is echt grappig. Line of my haircut. Using the chin line as a baseline. 
when I get above the ear, I'm gonna turn it around. So take the natural roundings of the skull into the hairline. And you can see how fine her hair is. And work till I get to the skull bone in the center. Give a slight graduation on the hairs by turning my fingers. So I lift them a bit into the line. First line, take a new line on it. Leaving about two centimeters in the center of the skull. So <laughs> go to the line of cutting again. First part is in the chin line. In a freehand style, I go to the line of cutting and sharpen the line. Be aware that I don't cut into the underlines. Lifting the hairs up, twist them around, bend them again into the shape, correct the overflow. The dark bag and capsule. <laughs> that's that's a, ja, dat, ja, maar dit is echt een beetje een strijkje wat je nou had. <laughs> Gewoon iedereen een keer laten proberen. Ja, ja maar dat is ook leuk, hè? dat maakt ook niks uit. Ja. De een kan het wat beter dan de ander. Ja, precies. En ik vond, ja, hij was ook vrij tevreden hoe het, hoe het was. Ja. Ik had het voor gewoon nu een goede doen van mijn werk. Ja. For those who think um, that I, as a, a Dutch guy, I is I German, but I am not. She comes from Germany, and you can totally hear the difference be, between speaking Dutch on the German way <laughs> or on the Dutch way. <laughs> but yeah, we're neighbors of each other, and there's not a lot of difference between Germans and Dutch people. I think, uh, yeah, and. Big lines, we are almost the same. I really like Germany. I love it. I really like the Netherlands. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> See, we love each other. Hey! <laughs> Turn a bit. So go to the center line, lay the hairs over the natural fall, watch at the fall, go to the parts where I can see the line of my small tattoo lines. Lay the hairs just into the lines. I think they have to lay. So again, don't cut into the underlines. On a fine hair, it's very hard to do because you have to be aware that everything you do on fine hair, you can see. Give it some more movement into the right direction. So lift it up, take the fine part of my comb, of, of course. So see how wonderful the line is when the hairs lay in a natural way. So you get a really beautiful line. Go to the other half. Have to wear it again. Take my first centimeter. Have a small wiggle yeah. on the front. Yeah. Um, a wiggle you can get out of the hairs just by pulling hair. Hmm. So when you ha have something like that, it's mostly because the skin is too tight on the head. You take a lot of hair and just softly pull the skin a little bit off the skull. 
This way you pump new blood into the streams and you get better hair. It will be locker and free. Mm. For those who want to grow the hair, it's also wonderful because it grows like hell when you do that. You activate the blood streams and then you have more and better hair. Coming to the right side, again, go into the chin line on the first part. Take softly up on the wiggle, so don't force anything. Because when you force, you will certainly notice that it will be shorter. Coming above the ear, get a straighter line. Make that turn. Pull the hairs a little bit to the front so I get a graduation effect. Don't force anything again. Leave it the way it is. I think it will feel more. Cut my line into the line of the back. Turn a bit. So now I can see the line. I'm going to sit in the center and I'm going to watch at the line. Again, lay the hairs to the line of the center line, twisting in the center of the back, about above the, the neckline, so I get a fall into the heads. Ah, so do, so do. <laughs> Go in from above, give it a graduation line again. It's a bit hard to do because the camera is in the way, but I want to show you this. So that's a bit hard to do, but it's possible without a cameraman or a woman. Then I lay them back. Watch over the natural fall, go into the underlines and in freehand style I correct the underline. And again, be aware that you don't cut into the under hair. So now I can go to the upper hair. The other side, stay two centimeters from the center. Lay the hairs in the natural fold. Go in from the back. Turn your fingers a bit in. We get the graduation again. Show you that also from the front. <laughs> so lift the hairs up, don't force anything, watch where they are, catch them with my fingers, turn my fingers into the line of cutting. And this way I create a soft graduation to the back. But I create also a hairstyle I can do something with. On the wiggle, I don't force anything, so I don't pull the hairs too hard. So now I can come to the center line. I left out about this part. You can see this, both lines. So I lift them up to the back. Give some moist to the front. Start on the fontanelle. Leave the front out, take the hairs up, 
get rid of the dry ends and connecting the left side and the right side to each other. with extra nursing so I would certainly use uh, the two-step plan of uh, glint and of course I set in step one into the colors so I create more binding with hairs and I can make a wonderful colors Now I connect it to the sides. Now I only have to do the front. Take the hairs up softly with the fine part of my comb. Point to the center of the nose. Also the lines of the person you can see into the nose, the eyes, everywhere is the same. A chin line you can see into the eyes. So continue on the line of cutting. I'll do this on both sides so I got a symmetrical hairstyle where I can do asymmetrical things with. Softly down, in a freehand style, correct the line, show you the line in a second, so you can see it's no blah 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 at all, <laughs> it's just a wonderful line. So lay the hairs in the way they naturally, naturally fall, this is the line of cutting and a new hairstyle. So now I can make a colors. Okay, made the colors. Made uh, two colors. Made a beautiful nursing wreath for on top. These are colors of kin. I make a photo of the product into the video. I do this with 6%, that's 20 volume. But what I told you, I put in an extra conditioner to get the most wonderful result and to get the best um, treatment of the skin because it's very important that the skin also get nursed. What I like about the product is it doesn't smell, it's just, just generally it's very creamy and for those who have this colors it lasts for a long time. Normally red colors go very fast out of your hair but this colors stay for a long time. And I go to my black, set in the sides. The nice thing is she has also very dark eyebrows, so it will certainly mix and combinate together. This will make it also strong. She's lovely enough to can wear this. The foil and the dark hair. Take a fine part of my cartoon wig, need a little bit more, lay this on the red collar and the part line of the black collar, and then I can lay the hairs back and lay them on the foil, so you can control if all the hair has a little bit of the red collar. And there's still no smell coming off the product. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, die worden steeds beter, ja, die kleuren. Ja. Ja, dat is echt heel mooi. Deze, deze is echt prachtig. Hm. En je hebt weer eens een hele andere foto's dan je hebt van jezelf. <laughs> ja. ja. Echt weer nieuwe foto's. Ja. Nou, het zit in the other side. Hoe heet het daar, Ik heb het ik tot ik het on the tattoo line. En dan kan ik zelf small brushes, because the tattoo line is also getting a color. These are clipper brushes. And they're really nice to work. Those are fine parts with. Ja, zo leuk dat je 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 eigen ademhaling zou zo. <laughs> Take some color off the top. Black brush into this color. And then I mix them together. So I get a darker red. This I cover up with a cotton wig. Then I'm gonna close my foil. I forgot it on the shoulders, but I will certainly give her a foil. Lay cotton wig on it. Connect this line. Split it. Lay it on the tattoo lines. So I'm certain that there is no overflow of the colors into the lines I made. Take my plastic foil, knot it on the forehead, not too tight, lay it over the head, secure it on the back and secure it on the front, close it and now we go for a coffee or tea. And you just stay there because we're back in less than a second. <laughs> okay, back from coloring. Now take off the plastic foil, take off the carton wigs and the aluminium foil. Then I take a towel, put some water on it. Take a shampoo, deep cleansing, put it on the towel, and then on the short parts, I rinse this out. I can wash the hair. And then gonna get rid of the color on the skin. There are a lot of nursing products and treating products into the core still while you do this. So it's very important that you do it like this. Not take it all off, then you have to get to chemical products, and they are just for small parts that are left behind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more, yeah. Then take a shampoo, first washed hairs. Step one that I put into the product is still into the hairs. But I have to secure that. And that I do with the conditioner because then I create both steps in one line. Then 
make sure you never put your hands on top of the head because then you um, push the neckline into the sink and that can really hurt for the person who is in laying in the sink. It's not the, the nicest thing to lay in. It's not a pillow. It's hard. And when you have a small head like she has a small neck, <laughs> you can put no silicone rubber in. Put all the energy to the sides, not down. Take step two of the glint line. Take one pump, apply this on the hairs. And what I really like about this product is that it never uh, greases the hairs. They stay in wonderful condition. Comes through the hairs. And of the same line, in the glint lines, I take a tan. Tan is a product, it's a conditioner on water based. And tan is for 10 seconds. So you start counting with uh, 21, 22, 23, because then you have seconds, not with 1, 2, 3. And that you come through the hairs. And after that 10 seconds, I mostly go over the hairs also with my hands, because I can close the hairs even better when I do it with my hands. Lay your hands under the neckline, so I don't have force on the lines of the sink. And it gives an ultra shiny effect on the hairs. And then I rinse it out. And don't forget, when somebody is laying into the sink, it's very important that you lift the head. Hold your fingers in the ears so there is no water coming from the ears and out of the ears. But by lifting up the head, it makes it for the customer or the model very gentle to go up. Because the head is about 5 to 7 kilos. And when you lay for a long time on the neckline, it's very hard to lift up your head on your own. Okay, uh, of course you saw me rinsing out. Now I take uh, off the lancer line a zero weight gel. This product is very nice to work with. It's ultra light. It gives no uh, greasy effect. It's just beautiful on the hairs. It smells really nice. This I brush through the hairs with a Louis Vuitton garden brush. Now I could make her a lot of hairstyles. Make her high up, could make a bit punky, can make her asymmetrical left and asymmetrical right. So, I have a lot of possibilities to work her hair. Take a fine brush of an Olivia Garden brush, starting in the neckline, building up in the center line. So far blow drying, so now I need some styling products. The styling products I'm going to use is uh, Bora of uh, Glint and a Crystal Turn of Goldfab. This is the Bora. Bora is a clay product. 
not using much of it, just a small part. The beautiful thing about clay is that it, look, it works like uh, a hairspray. Then I put some crystal turn in it. Those I mix into each other. So I don't see the clay anymore and mix it all over my hands. And then I'm going to work it out. And I want to create that flamey effect. Burning sensation. <laughs> Maybe for the photos we need a red lipstick. But that I have because I'm also in beauty lines, so I have a lot of makeup. That I fixate with a little bit hairspray of Lanza. Lanza? <laughs> But no, that she can also wear it down, so it doesn't need to get high up. I thank her for being my model, I thank you for watching, she will turn around to show you the end result, I give her her glasses, because they have to get together. <laughs> and we see each other next video. Okay, one more bit high. Thank you.